Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Grovana. Welcome to part 12 of my Let's Play Oblivion series. Last time, we did about uh, half the arena, I would say. And this time, we're going to do the other half, or at least get as, uh, as far as we can. Because, like I said in the last time, um, the arena is very, very quick. So, let's take a look at our quest right here, see if we have any interesting information. Uh, no, so it's basically the same thing as it said at the start of this faction. But uh, we're about, we're like a Myrmidon right now, or a Myrmid forgot how Owen said it um, and we still got like a couple ranks to go so we can continue with that or we can start the one side quest that is in this faction I'm gonna see if I can start that right now and to start that we need to talk to Agronak grow Malog. so let's talk to him and see if we can get that quest Hail, friend good to see you again I hope the arena has been as good to you as it's been to me what brings you back to the Imperial City Okay, so we can say kill the Grand Champion or the Great Prince. Let's see what happens if we say kill the Grand Champion. Which is that guy, by the way? I'm the reigning Grand Champion of the arena, you see. Once you become a champion, you'll need to challenge me for my title. It's a fight to the death. So if you progress that far, want a shot at the Grand Championship, you'll have to try and kill me. Okay, so yeah, so he's giving us basic information about that. Now, what happens if we say the Grey Prince, which is gonna, which is his nickname? And if you can tell, um, that orc is a very, very, very light shade of green, whereas usual orcs are usually, uh, you know, more green or a darker shade of green. So, let's uh, let's see what happens if we ask him about that. Yes, it's what everyone calls me. I guess I'm partly to blame. I have never made it a secret that I'm actually only half orc. I am a lord's son, yet I've been denied the noble privilege to which I'm entitled. So I have become the Grey Prince, noble in my own right. Still, if I could prove who I really am and show the world that an orc can be noble in blood as well as deed, maybe, yes, you could help me. Okay, so here we go. He's actually going to give us the side quest now. I may be able to help. Tell me more. I grew up here in the Imperial City, but I was born elsewhere. My mother was a servant in the employ of Lord Leviticus, and resided at his fortress. Lady Leviticus was a shrew of a woman. The Lord and my mother grew close, and ultimately fell in love. I was the result of their union. When the Lady learned of my birth, she was furious, and threatened to kill both my mother and me. So we fled, leaving my claim to nobility behind. Please go on. My mother died recently. Before she passed, she gave me this key and told me it would unlock the truth at the place of my birth, Crowhaven. Crowhaven is a ruined fort far to the west of here. I'd go myself, but my training regiment doesn't allow for the luxury of such an excursion. My friend, you must travel to Crowhaven and use the key to unlock whatever it is that holds the proof of my birthright. Find this proof and return it to me, and I'll share with you some of my finest combat techniques. Trust me, you can't learn these moves in a book. Okay, so we've been given a quest, the origin of the Grey Prince. Now this is very interesting, because if we don't do this quest, and we continue on in the arena as usual, um, we will have to fight the grand champion and it's obviously going to be a hard battle he's not the grand champion for no reason uh yeah but if we complete this quest something else happens i'm sure many of you already know what's know what's going to happen um but for sake of completionist and for sake of me wanting to show you guys everything this game has to offer we're actually going to complete that quest and see what happens once we do it so let's go ahead and do that so we need to go to crow haven which is going to be a fort we need to find some evidence um about this guy's lineage so he can see what he really is and there's a little plot twist uh you know like it's written by m night Shyamalan, and uh, we're going to find out what that is and also we'll be rewarded with some combat techniques now i'm forgetting if it's like uh, increased to our skills or if it's like some sort of power move we can do like you know in fallout new vegas you could learn that unarmed technique i don't i forget which one it is i think it's just skills but we're going to find out shortly so let's go ahead and make that our active quest agronat grow malog the imperial arena grand champion has sent me on a quest to find proof of his noble birthright i must now journey to the west to a place called crowhaven and begin my search grow malog has provided me with the key i will surely need but even he is unsure what it opens so let's go find out, shall we? So there's Crowhaven, it's near Anvil, and what is this? Lord Drad's estate. So we'll just fast travel here. Alright folks, so here we are at Crowhaven. 
Now it says that we have a green marker, um, but I just think that's telling us that the entrance to this place is very near, and it's probably going to be what that key is used for. Maybe not. Maybe the key is used for a chest. I, I forget. But let's find out. So let's find the entrance to this place and head on inside. And also, we should probably equip my black hand robe because it's going to fare well for me more than this uh, light raiment. Uh oh, we got some skellies. Should not be a problem though with Sufferthorn. They melt like butter. Also, just for sake of simplicity, I'm going to change the difficulty back down to where it was originally, like right about there. Just so I don't have much trouble and I can keep the commentary fluid and continue to tell you guys all about this wonderful game. Alright, so I guess this is where we're headed in. Yeah. Now we're looking for some information on the background of this Grey Prince. And I don't know if they threw this in there, um... I've entered Crowhaven. Somewhere inside I will unlock the truth that Agronach Grow Malog is searching for. I should be cautious, however, the fort has long since lost its noble trappings and the presence of evil is unmistakable. So it sounds like we're going to have some skeletons in here. We do have a green marker already, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and equip Shadow Hunt again. How many? We got 15 steel arrows. Okay. What is that? A dog? What the hell? Pro shot by Grovana, like always. Oh my god, I, oh man, these arrows are just like so bad. My, my skill in this game is just like so bad when it comes to arrows. Okay. I guess I'm just used to the Skyrim way of shooting, you know? Skyrim it's much more fluid and accurate, and a more accurate representation of how shooting an arrow would be. At least that's my opinion. Let's continue on in this dungeon here. One thing that's hard about this Let's Play is it's really hard to commentate on things when you're in like a random dungeon and just in combat. But I'm trying to get better at it. Hopefully you guys can uh, give me some slack on that. But what I was saying when I entered was that um, I think they threw this in here as sort of like a little tribute to the Lusty Argonian Maid. Because if you listen to his story, it's kind of the same thing. You know, his... Uh, forget what the lord of this place was but he fell in love with the servant which is an orc human on orc loving love action which is very similar to the lusty argonian made all right looks like we're close i'm not sure exactly forget exactly what we're looking for i think it's like some sort of book that we can open with that key they gave us there's a lot of wolves in here for some reason i'm not even sure if these wolves would aggro i'm pretty sure yeah they are wolves so they're not like dogs so i'm pretty sure they would aggro on us yeah Needs a key. Well, hopefully we have that key. Door open with Agronax mysterious key. Alright, what's in here? Just some more creepy stuff. Now, if you can see over there, it looks like a bedroom. I think that's exactly... Uh-oh. Yeah, that guy is actually going to aggro on us. I know that for a fact, so um, we might want to get our bow ready. And he can already, it sounds like he already detected us when we're all the way over here, which is bad. Let's sneak up on him. Now, I mean, surely it can't be his dad, right? Because his dad was, uh, well, Agronach is like, is his name Agronach? Whatever the orc's name is, he's like super old, so. His dad couldn't still be alive, right? Unless he were, uh undead if you uh, if you catch my drift all right so we want to stay out of the light and hit this guy with an arrow must have been the wind, must have been the wind huh no it must have been god damn it man i do not want to get vampirism stay away from me please Ooh, i sort of just spoiled it didn't i that's lord leviticus though if you can see by the name who's now dead okay so get my arrow back other than that he doesn't have much and now we are looking for like some sort of book read journal of the lord leviticus how long is this hmm, pretty long we'll just take it it should just give us a there we go i've discovered the journal of the lord leviticus it does indeed contain information about agronach girl malik's birth but proves he was the spawn of a vampire agronach won't be happy to hear this but is the proof that he wanted i must take the journal to him at the imperial city arena bloodworks so yes not only has he found out that is he is indeed a half-blood prince, eh, Harry Potter, but also he's uh, he's part vampire. Get does vampirism pass down in generation? I'm not sure. Um, 
So let's open this, see what we got in here. Nothing much. Um, any, does Lord of Vizicus have anything else? Doesn't look like it. I just want to be very thorough. Anything in here in this open chest? Some callip some bloody calipers for some reason. Um, we got another chest here with some yarn. Just in case any of these are skill books. I don't think so. No. Anything in here? Nope. What is this? I was heartbroken when you rejected me. Tell me what... Okay, so that's the same note we found in the Dark Brotherhood. Like I said, I, I thought this was like in different locations. Yeah, so I think this is just like a love letter they put in different spots. Jewelry box, that's average. It's not going to have anything. So let's just run out of this place. Um, and I'll speed that up. All right, so let's go back to Agronac and uh, and show him this information, shall we? All right, so here we are in the Blood Works yet again. Agronac should be right there, hitting that thing as usual. Let's see what he has to say. You've returned. So, have you been to Crowhaven? Have you? What's this? The Journal of Lord Leviticus? My friend, you've done it. This is wonderful news. The words of Lord Leviticus himself. Perfect. Ah, I believe I owe you something, eh? Here, let me show you these moves. Step like this. Now strike. All right, now parry. That's it. There you are. Some of the best combat moves you'll ever learn. You'll need them if you want to last more than five seconds against me in the arena. Now, let's see what this journal says. Huh. Ah, interesting. But, I, I, wait, can this be? But, by Shinji, I'm the son of a vampire. I'm no great prince. I'm the spawn of evil. I thought my father was a nobleman, not some blood-sucking monster. I can't, I can't, uh, all a lie, a lie. So I just noticed, if you look at this guy's nose, he has sort of like the classic vampire nose. I'm not sure if that's just like the default nose for orcs. I'll try and get a good look at him again. The, the journal. My father's journal. It says I'm... I'm part vampire. I thought my father was a nobleman. Yeah, so if you look at his nose, it, it's familiar, it, it looks like a vampire's nose. I'm not sure like if that's just how most orcs' noses are, but that's cool if they did that. Okay, so this guy's like disheartened now, but we did get a permanent increase of three to blade, block, and athletics, which is pretty good. That's like nine skill points for free, basically just for finding a journal. So yeah, that's very sad for him. Um, we'll still have to fight him to get to become the grand champion, but right now we're just going to continue right along in the arena and uh, work our way up there. We're pretty close. So I think we've already got our second, or we've got our current... Um, contract or whatever so let's go and fight this next guy now we're going to need to equip the uh where is the raiment let's go ahead and put that on and let's go ahead and equip suffer thorn which has how many charges left about half wow so that's so 49 slashes okay so we can get some use out of that with his magical dagger, Shimmer Strike. Let's see if the blue team can end his winning streak. Alright, so this is the guy with the magical dag dagger, uh, Shimmer Strike, which I guess does shock damage or something. Wow, this guy went down quick. Oh, I forgot to turn up the difficulty, that's why. Yeah, so let's put that back up to give us a little bit of a challenge. And, uh, yeah, if you look right there, there's Shimmer Strike, unfortunately we cannot loot it, which is which sucks because I like getting every unique thing, but that is one that we cannot get. So that was kind of like a free win because I forgot to put the difficulty up, but oh well. At least we're getting through this quicker because it's, it's to be quite honest, it's hard to commentate on the arena just because it's the same thing a lot of the time, you know, fight after fight after fight. 
I guess you told that wood elf what you thought of his magic dagger, huh? <laughs> Here's your gold. Nice going. You're hungry, Myrmidon. I can see it in your eyes. You ready to feed that hunger, huh? You ready for another match? No surprises with this next one. Just a high elf with a chip on her shoulder. Get up to that arena and make her beg for death. Alright, so I forgot this one for good reason, I guess. It seems like it's just a normal fight for once uh, without these people having some sort of edge. So we should be able to take her down no problem at all. Go ahead and heal. Go ahead and heal. Do it. I know. You're, I know it's coming. Or not. I wonder if uh, if you kill them fast enough, they don't heal. Because that person didn't heal, and it was a straight up match. You would think they would get one of those, you know, like full heals. They're probably using a specific spell that you can get in this. One thing I never usually do is get like any restoration spell. I probably should because, uh, as you can see, it helps them a lot. They act all high and mighty until you leave them in a pool of their own blood. Here's your gold. Go take a breather. You're cutting through the yellow team like a knife through scrib jelly. One more fighting, you'll advance to warrior rank. The next opponent is your standard axe-armed orc. He's in a heavy raiment and looks pretty fit. Nothing you can't handle. Alright, so we got a straight up orc battle. He's gonna be in heavy armor as well as he's gonna have a uh, an axe or something. I believe he said axe. It's gonna take a lot more damage, but at the same time, it should be dealing significantly. Well, I was gonna say significantly less damage, but he's just gonna be swinging slower. To the arena. Everyone loves an advancement match, so let's watch as these two brave Myrmidons face off in the battle to the death. Combatants, to arms! Alright, so go ahead and hit me with your axe, bud, so I can block it. Good. One more, one more, one more. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. So even though my block's not high at all, it, it does, you know, I guess it still does the uh, the blocking effect pretty well. I can, get in some, I can get in some good slashes once this guy hits me. He staggers a little bit and allows me to just slice him up. Wow, he's doing a lot of damage to me, though. Kill him in his own, uh, hallway people we have a winner all hail the combat i always thought it was odd how like uh, you can hear the cheers so much like it, it's like huge cheers a lot of cheers at once but the the arena actually is like so small when you get in there that the uh, the cheers the amount of cheers just don't match up if that made any sense there are a few things scarier than an orc with an axe but you didn't even flinch that victory brings you up to warrior rank well done you're a warrior now. That ain't no joke. They may not know your name, but the people out there, the spectators, they know you now. They come to this arena to see you. So go out there and give the people what they want. I've seen the next one fight before. She's a Nord. Very quick, very strong. She favors a longsword and knows how to use it. Don't underestimate her. Alright, a Nord with... an Nord female with a longsword. So let's use all those uh, those fights in Skyrim to train us for this. We've fought many Nords in the past in Skyrim. Hopefully that'll give me an edge. Of course it won't, because Oblivion's a completely different game. But uh, we'll see. Welcome to the arena. Raise your voices in cheer as we lower the gates and these two brave combatants face their destinies. Alright, let's hit, hit this Nord with a couple of fireballs. If you notice, I never really use power, power strikes, uh, just because I guess with a dagger it's more fruitful to just get in as many slashes as you can, especially with the ability 
of Sufferthorn, which, by the way, is probably almost over, right? Uses two. Yeah, we got two more uses. So we're going to have to find something better to use uh, in the next match. So let's see. We're a warrior now. I know there's, like, Gladiator. Someone said Hero in a... Uh, let's see. You can tell the ranks based on what the people in here are. This guy's a Gladiator. Okay, wow. This person is a champion. So someone said Hero. I don't, I don't think Hero is a rank. If so, that, that means we have Hero, Gladiator, Champion, and then Grand Champion, which seems like a lot to me. I think they meant gla uh, just Warrior, which is what we are now, but we'll see. You left that Nord in pretty rough shape, Warrior. They'll probably have to ship her back to Skyrim in pieces. Nice work. Here's your take. Look at you. You keep coming back for more. All right, Warrior. You ready for a match? Ah, Spellcasters. That's what this next one is. A high elf sorceress or something. Just get in close, stab her a few times, that'll teach you. So we got a sorceress now, which seems to be good because they're gonna go down much easier and they're not probably gonna have a shield. Um, but the thing is they're gonna be doing a lot of damage up close if if we let her hit us, so Good people of the Imperial City. Welcome to the Arena. These warriors want nothing more than to please you. And if they fill their opponents with suffering and pain at the same time, all the better. Alright, so let's get in close right away. Looks like they just put a shield, or she just put a shield on. Wow, she has a, uh... She just disarmed me. Did that... I forget if that actually drops the weapon. Oh no, it broke. Yeah, so Sufferthorn actually broke. That sucks. But we do have a short sword of frost. Let's go ahead and use that. I'm surprised this person is using a sword. Wow, that does a nice chunk of damage. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Wow, I think that's the first time ever that I actually broke Sufferthorn. Yeah, that's one thing that sucks about Oblivion is your stuff can break and it has like um it has hit points and basically you have to repair it and it's kinda hard to repair. You need it costs a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Letter from Branwen. Oh, and I know you don't believe me, I know you th think I'm just some stupid kid who doesn't know what she's talking about, but the truth is the truth. You are my father. One night with the scullery maid is all it takes. Or maybe your father deserted you too and never thought you taught you the basic lessons of life. Anyway, the past is long forgotten. What matters now is that you come to terms with the truth. I am your daughter and I will join the arena as a combatant. Maybe someday when I'm grand champion you'll see that we have the same blood, the same tenacity. Until that day comes. Until then day is it really until then day comes what the hell i'll train every moment of every day all i want all i ever wanted was to make you proud your loving daughter branwen wow so owen has a Vision daughter is. another high elf has been taught the meaning of humility thanks to the blue team's number one warrior you really earned your keep this time one more match is all you need to advance again up to gladiator rank most combatants never make it that far but you're the exception aren't you yeah, so the, I don't think there is a hero rank. So there's Gladiator, then Champion, and then Grand Champion. And I'm not sure if Champion only has one just like Grand Champion does. We'll find out in a second. So I guess we can't talk to this guy about that note we just picked up. Your next opponent is the most savage, blood-crazed orc I've ever seen. And believe me, I've seen a lot of them. This will not be fun. She'll come out of that gate with a war hammer the size of a child, and she'll swing it until your head explodes. Don't let that happen. Man, so what is this? Like the third, you know, classic orc we fought and the grand champions in orc 2? I guess it makes sense since orcs are natural warriors. I believe this person is going to be fully decked out in glass armor, including her her glass uh, war hammer. Yeah, I'm getting the green tint over there, so I think so. To the arena. This is an important match. For the winner will advance to the esteemed rank of gladiator. So, without further ado, let the battle begin! Also, you know, I've never used it, but let's just see how good this, um... Where is it? The Star of the West is our greater power for being an Imperial. Let's put it over there and use it and just see if it has any effect on this fight. So, is it on touch? Yeah, on touch. Choking grass, that's what we got at the, uh, the spell tomb. Ow! Wow, that sword's not doing anything. 
Okay, so, oh yeah, obviously she won't have glass armor because this is the arena. She can't have armor. She has to use the raiments, but she does have a glass warhammer. As you can see there, it looks like she's wielding a giant emerald warhammer. So I guess right here, the best thing to do would be to dodge it as she goes for power swings like that and then get in. And But she's doing a good job of blocking. We're getting pretty low on health. So I'm going to slash her a little bit. Come on. Oh, she healed. Okay, I'm going to heal myself then. Uh, let's I believe we have one more potion of healing. Yeah. And we have a weak potion of healing. Okay. God, this person is doing exactly what Owen said. Just swinging that hammer until my head explodes. Come on, die. Oh boy, that was probably the hardest fight so far. But we are now a gladiator, which is good. And I forget if we actually fight that nice guy, or if he's actually on the blue team and we won't fight him. He is wearing blue. I've been watching you fight, my friend. It's a good thing we're both on the blue team, because I sure as blazes wouldn't want to go up against him. Right, okay, so we actually won't be fighting this guy, but I think he dies. I think he, like, disappears, which leads you to believe that he dies, or maybe I'm just making that that up you hit that orc so hard her mother in orsinium started bleeding that victory advances you to the rank of gladiator enjoy the gold gladiator it's not very often i get to call somebody that you're doing the blue team proud kid now go kill somebody before i get all weepy <laughs> listen up this next match is an outrage but there's nothing i can do about it you've got three opponents this time and you have to beat them all. There are Gonian prisoners brought here from Black Marsh. They've been told they have to kill you in exchange for their freedom. I don't know what crimes they committed, but it's your life or their freedom. The choice should be pretty clear. Get going and watch yourself. Huh, I thought that was the match where he um, gives us this hog to help us out. And I forget if he actually does anything or not. Uh, but yeah, we have to fight against three Argonian prisoners. 3v1, now that's not cool. Kind of like when I got jumped and it was 4v2. Not, <laughs> not even odds at all. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. It looks like the yellow team has pulled a fast one by replacing their combatant with three Argonian prisoners. This should be interesting. Now I think the trade-off is that these people are weak, um, and they don't even have shields, they just have like swords and things. Wow, they're just jumping on me immediately, huh? Oh my god, they're doing a lot of damage. Wow, okay, uh, okay, we really need to think this one out. Um, okay, what, what do we have in terms of weapons? Let's go ahead and use this goblin staff as much as we can. Bit. Okay, we're out of that. Now, what else do we have? A dagger of numbing. You cannot change weapons while attacking. Okay, well, I'm not attacking, so switch. Thank you. Alright. It's, it's really, I mean, this fight's like pretty hard because they're all hitting me at once and I'm getting like staggered and I can't even hit back. Oh wow, and they get to heal, that's cool. Stop blocking, god. Oh, we're gonna have to use all these potions. Okay. Uh, wow, are we actually out of potions? No. Can't even tell who which which is the one that has like which is the one that has like no health. Because they're all like grouped up. We're definitely gonna need to prepare for the next fight. One down, two down. Come on. This match is mine. Oh man. Oh, that one was tough. I think uh, next time, before I start the next episode, I'm gonna have to prepare. I'm gonna have to go to the marketplace and get some upgraded weapons. Um, I don't think armor because we don't really have a lot of options for the armor. The yellow team surprised even me with that match. Three against one. 
I guess they didn't know who they were dealing with, huh? Well done. You ain't gonna stop until you hit champion, are you? Well, good. The blue team needs as much glory as we can get. After that last match, this one should feel like a vacation. One Khajiit in a heavy raiment, probably with a sword. Nothing you can't handle. Alright, so it sounds like we got an easy match coming up for us. Uh, we're very close. I think after this match, uh, we got one more, and then we will be a champion, and then we have to fight this person. Is she still here? No, she's gone. Oh no, she's right there. Then we have to fight this person. I forget if there's two more in that rank or if it's just her. And then we have to fight Agronak, and we will be the grand champion. So we'll finish the arena up next uh, episode, and maybe we'll get started with the Thieves Guild. So thanks for watching, guys. My name's Grovana. Hope you all have a great day. Goodbye. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.